Hello everybody and welcome back to the final third podcast and the third episode of the Liverpool FC25 career mode. Um, thanks for the support um, that on the episodes uh, so far. Um, really appreciate it. But as we go into the, the third episode, we're going to start off with the youth tournament. Now, I've seen this quite a bit like in other... Um, YouTube videos and I was like, oh, it looks quite good. So I'm going to give it a try uh, It's only three minutes um, I think it's th three minute halves We're playing West Ham here and these are the young lads uh, Yep, yeah, it's four minute halves. So the young lads and if they do quite well, I might promote them to our team Just West Ham Academy should we say because they're like up like 15 always oh, in there Oh, it's pretty slotted in um, they're like from 14 year olds to 17, 18, 19 year olds. Uh, and if you want it, if you're wondering why the uh, there's a white dotted line, that means if the player passes to the player up front and they're beyond that point, um, that is classed as an offside. Um, so that's quite handy if you're through one on Well, it's not handy if you're one on one, but that's just. Uh, an offside trap, let's say it that way. Yeah, this guy's impressed me. Number seven. West Ham are in here. Oh, and it's 2-0. Oh, well, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. So, yeah, 2-0 down to West Ham. Oh, he made the run. In there. Oh, that's that's got to be a red, well, a yellow. Oh, blue card? What? Didn't know there was a blue card. Well, so he's out for a minute, that means. Uh, they were thinking of bringing it into real, real football, but the Brighton to FC25. And we're in here. And it's 2 1. We can. That's in bit. Well, the blue card will help us a little bit now. now I've had to pass it to my striker. And he'd have been offside. It's 2 2. That blue card's actually helped us out. Uh, and now he's back on again. Oh, brilliant. Oh, ah, he's just walked that through. The keeper didn't know where he was going. And it's now 3 2 up to the hands. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It'd be good to get a late winner. Uh, Equaliser. Here we go. Here's our chance. Oh, God. I think that's going to be it. I think we're going to be knocked out by West Ham. And we are. 3-2. A bit unfortunate there. But I did enjoy that. Um, like you can see, there's 50 rating, 40 rating. So, yeah. Um, man of the match went to Rahamad. Rahamad? I think that's how you say his name. Well, he's pretty young as well, so... Yeah, we'll get into the real game in the Champions League now, our first Champions League game. We've got a comment from Cody Gappo here, and he's saying, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but I want to say I'm feeling part of the dressing room now. So basically he's saying he wants to play. Um, I'll just say everything's going well because I'm, I am going to give him a chance. And it's only against Milan, so... Well, I'm not saying Milan's a bad team, but... Um, I will probably change a few players in here. Uh, I'm going to play Gravenberge because he's not playing next game because of his red card, obviously. I'm going to play Naomi. Let's see what he can bring to the table. <clears throat> and Cody Gapo for Luis Diaz because he does like to play on that left wing. So let's get into the game. In real life, we did win the game 3 1. Kenate, Van Dijk. Scored and so was like, um, it was a good game to watch. Here comes Salah on his favourite left foot. Oh, and he's done it again. Salah's on fire from the last title on Monday, and I think he's still on fire because he has scored an absolute brilliant goal. Like the goal against Ipswich, pretty much the same. And that was a 
Uh, well, like the goal against United on Ipswich, outside the box. That's his fourth goal, I think, this season, in all competitions. Look at this again. First time touch, brilliant. Oh, beautiful. I think Cody Gapo got the assist, I'm not sure. I think if it get like I said, if it gets to 3-0, I'll just quick sim. Because I've already known, well, I think I've won anyway. And that is not good. And it is 1-1. Maratta, who used to play at Chelsea, I believe, has scored here against Liverpool. Bad barking, really. And it is 1-1. See if we can score from a corner like we did in real life. Nah. It's a Bosley. He's going to hit one. Oh, and he is. He has hit one. What a fantastic goal from Dominic Sabozlai for Liverpool. First touch, pulled it back, and he's just hit that on the half volley right into the bottom corner. No stopping that. And Liverpool take the advantage lead. As it's nearly half time. Brilliant challenge from Kanate again. Kanate is leading the role in the centre pack position where Van Dyke did leave off, and we go into the break at 2 1. Obviously, it's a Champions League game, and I want to give game time to the players who haven't played, and that's like Darwin Nunes, Costa Simicas. Connor Bradley and Curtis Jones, I think. Um, so, yeah, let's get into the second half and hopefully we pick up the three points. We can do more than that. Let's put a ball into Nunes, who's done, took from that really well. And Salah, he can't do it again, can he? Oh, my God, he can. And that is Liverpool 3, Milan 1. The same scoreline like in real life. And Salah does the double... Left hand side, cutting in. What a fantastic goal. Absolutely brilliant from Mohamed Salah. Oh, we've let him open there. And Alisson doesn't save. And they're well back into this in Milan. And it is Liverpool 3, by, uh, by Munich. AC Milan 2. Oh, wow. I think that was Nione who's headed it on to Nunes, who puts the ball in the back of the net. Nunes hasn't been good recently in form, and he's come up with an absolute stunner in Milan to silence the crowd. And it's Liverpool 4, Milan 2. They gave him too much space, too much freedom, and it looks like all three points for Liverpool. I think that was Naomi, I'm pretty sure. I th yeah, I think it was, yeah. And we look like the three points is ours. Three points might turn into one if they could score. They could score another one here. Allison does the save to keep us in with the three points. Corner there for Milan now. It's whipped in. Headers. Oh, it's a good save again from Alison Becker. He's one of the best keepers in this game, I would say. Not the best, but one of the best. And there we go, that's it. That must be our three points. Looks like it's going to be all three points secured for Liverpool. And it's another big save from Alison Becker. He's kept us in the game. And and another save. And there we go. There's the three points on the leaderboard on the first game week of the Champions League. So, looking at the calendar, we've got double Bournemouth at double home. 
um, in the Carabao Cup, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Carabao Cup, Carabao Cup, Carabao Cup. We're going to have a look at the league table. Obviously, with two wins, two draws, we sit fourth in the league with Tottenham, who are top, perfect form. Four wins, four played, and Man City are two points behind them with ten points. So, I'm brightening up there as well. Oh, shut up! Shut up! You know I'm doing it, so don't be annoying. I want to give Kayser a try, but I don't think it's... I don't know. Salah has been in really good form, and I don't want to get rid of Diaz, because he hasn't been playing... So, I'm going to keep that as it is, and hopefully we pick up the win against Bournemouth. Shut the fuck up. Right, here we go, Bournemouth at home. This could be a tough task for Liverpool. And, ho well, hopefully we get the win and Salah could bag another goal in the Premier League. Let's see. Oh, this could be bad for us, isn't it? Oh, why have I gone in again? It's like every time... Oh, another red. Oh, dearie me. And there's half-time. Red. Oh, I nearly made it 1 0. Sorry for the quality, it's just my uh, Wi Fi. So if you're just wondering, then yeah, that's why. Oh, it's a corner for Bournemouth. Oh, I'm not cleared. That's going to be another corner. What is Robertson doing up there? Good though, he's got back. Defence, as Bournemouth come through, and it's. Oh, Allison's let it in. And it's 1 0, sorry for the quality. Kiesa into Dan's. Dan scores! He does come on, and he does score. Jaden Dan's, the young striker, does come on to make an impact. And it is 1-1 one, one, coming into the final five minutes of the game. And that's it. Dan's would have been in as well. But there we go. Thanks for watching. This has been episode three. Hopefully you're enjoying the career mode so far. Sorry for about the lag, it, lag quality. I'll get that sorted out next episode. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.